Good morning, friends. We've got a mail day video for you today. We have uh, three packages, all contain alpha cards. They were also all eBay auctions. Uh, the first box um, was an eBay authentication guarantee item, and that was an eBay auction from Graded Power. And then these two packages, this box is also eBay auctions from ABU Games, and um, an, in this envelope is an, also an eBay auction item from ABU Games. Um, we'll open up these. These alpha cards are gonna go to a couple alpha projects we have going on the channel, so I will uh, first open the cards, show you what's inside the packages, and then in a couple other videos, I'll go into a little more detail about what some of the um, smaller projects are using alpha cards. Um, this first box is um, that one of the eBay auction items. I love these boxes. These are great for reselling, packaging other items that I sell. Um, so I just save all these packing peanuts and reuse the top loaders and boxes when I ship cards. Um, I think they're packaged very nicely. And so I try to take, you know, the same, same care and attention when I ship out cards. So here we go. In the first bag, we have a top loader with some Alpha Magic cards in it. They use these this six-digit number. They call it actual pictured items. So they'll scan a lot of the um, original cards that are very rare and scarce so that you can see whatever imperfections are on the card when they scan it. And then um, they'll include those cards with these six digit number so that you know which cards you're receiving. So we have three alpha cards in this pack. We have a basic forest, which is sometimes called the rocks version, um, version A or version B. This was by Christopher Rush. And we were going for near mint copies for the one of the projects, which is a 60 card deck project. So you can see that this card is in very good shape for being 30 years old from 1993. So that's Forest. Put that up there. And then we have Invisibility, which is kind of a wonky card. Um, it's an enchant creature card for two blue, so you put it on one of your creatures, and that creature can only be blocked by walls. And so walls are kind of more popular in Alpha Beta. I'd say there was like probably 10 or 12 walls most of which were uncommon except Wall of Wood, which was uh, common. So you could put this on your creature and attack. Um, it's in very near mint condition as well. So we wanted to use that for the near mint 60 card deck project. And then we picked up a copy of Psychic Venom, which we love on the channel. We were playing a lot of Psychic Venom in our alpha decks. So this was just, um, they said played condition, but I'd say slightly played. Uh, there's no, a, there's not a lot of play wear on this card, so I'm gonna put that in my Psychic Venom uh, pile for binders. Um, I thought about maybe making a Psychic Venom deck with like 15 copies of Psychic Venom. Um, I was running four copies most recently and it wasn't quite as potent and powerful, so I think some of the decks that run like 15 copies of Psychic Venom are pretty, pretty nasty, so we might try that. They're also kind of annoying, so I don't wanna kinda annoy any of my opponents too badly. So, this is also ABU Games. They have their own bubble mailers. And then inside this pack is, you guessed it, alpha cards. So, I think it's just one card in this pack, but um, comes in a little plastic bag, um, sticker, top loader, actual pictured item number, as I mentioned before. This is a wall of swords from Alpha. It is uh, one of the best walls in Alpha, actually. It's really good. Uh, it's three colorless and a white. It's a 3-5 flying wall. Condition's pretty good. I'd say just played condition on this one. It's no, not HP, but um, it's got some white here on the left side and the corners, as you can see, just from 
shuffling. Um, you know, back in the day, these 60 cards came in a little starter deck box and people kind of shuffled like that. And those edges get dinged pretty easily when you're shuffling like that. Um, and then most people played, you know, a couple times. If they did not enjoy alpha, they just put the cards back in the box and either threw them out or didn't think of any, didn't do anything with them for many years until people figured out how fun the game was and started playing with them. So that's Wall of Swords. I've been chasing that card for a while. It was over um, you know, like $100, $200 a couple years, like within the last year. So prices are coming down on alpha cards, obviously. And so we're picking up the ones that we missed last year. Um, this final package is eBay Authenticity Guarantee Package. You've seen these before on the channel. When you purchase something on eBay that's over $250, it goes to CGC in Florida, and then it is authenticated by CGC. And when it's authenticated, it gets shipped to the buyer and it comes in a cardboard box, and then it has a little display case inside the box. Um, so very high quality. Uh, you don't have to pay anything extra for this service. You just it's just it comes automatically right now for free for all cards that are sold for over two hundred and fifty dollars. There's a possibility they will charge for this service in the future if you want just a little peace of mind and make sure your card is authenticated. But it also has a little note that says congratulations on your purchase. And I'd say I think I've done about six or seven eBay authenticity guarantee items in the past and um, I've only had one that well I had one that was rejected because the card was signed and altered and the CGC doesn't authenticate the alterations or the signatures so that card got returned to the seller and I did not get that card and then I did have a signed card that uh, I showed on the channel that was was signed by the artist and that did get authenticated by CGC um, it, they sent it on to me and just said they couldn't authenticate it, but um, you know, there's a listing error, but we're still going to send you the card anyway. So this is, as you can read, is Island Sanctuary, uh, an alpha card. And um, the fun story behind this card was it was the alpha, alpha Island Sanctuary was the first eBay authenticity card I had purchased last year and I was looking at the history on this one and back then when eBay authenticity guarantee started the the, the price was $750 or higher for cards that had to go through CGC service so when I bought Island Sanctuary the first time it was over $750 I think it was like $751 just just over the mark but that that allowed it to go through the CGC eBay authenticity service and so I wanted to try that and see how that worked and that worked out fine so the first card I ever received through eBay authenticity guarantee was Island Sanctuary and Alpha and I wanted to play that in my Alpha 40 deck because uh, for a colorless and a white it's an enchantment with a beautiful art by Mark Poole you can decline to draw a card from your library during your draw phase and exchange until start of your next turn the only creatures that can damage you uh, are those that fly or have island walk. So uh, not many people were playing merfolk decks, so island walk was pretty rare. Flying creatures are um, prevalent, but they're also very expensive, like Wall of Swords. Um, even though Wall of Swords can't attack as a wall, it's um, not as popular. So... Decking was also a, a win condition in Alpha 40. If you run out of cards, because you only have 40 cards in your deck, uh, you lose the game. So Island Sanctuary allowed you to decline to draw a card if you were low on cards in your library. And then in exchange, you couldn't be attacked by creatures, but your opponent had to draw a card and potentially could deck themselves. And then you could potentially win the game. Um, however, I only had one copy of Island Sanctuary in the deck at the time. And um, when I played it, opponents were like, oh, that seems like a interesting card, but I'll get rid of it. I'll, I'll Chaos Orb it, I'll Disenchant it, I'll Counterspell it. I don't want you to have Island Sanctuary. So I was thinking um, it may be more effective with more than one copy of Island Sanctuary in the deck. So this was the first Island Sanctuary that I picked up a year ago. 
and I might put both of them in a deck now. I might play with two copies of Island Sanctuary as a backup so that if this one gets countered, I have another one. Um, it does look like condition-wise, the one I purchased a year ago is in much nicer condition. So I'd say this one was like 750 and then the one I purchased more recently was under that by a lot, but it was more than 250. So prices are down probably 35, 40% on a lot of the alpha cards, um, but also the condition kind of matches that decline in price too. So um, they both look pretty good. I would play these possibly in an alpha 40 deck. What do you know? What do you think? Let me know if you've played Island Sanctuary. Um, I think maybe with Howling Mine, which lets you draw two card in addition. Howling Mine lets you draw an additional card during your draw phase. So if you had two copies of Island Sanctuary, you could you could decline to draw the first card for your draw phase, and you could decline to draw the additional card from Howling Mine. So your opponent could draw two cards. You could draw zero, but you know they would have. Um, creatures not be able to attack. So that kind of buys you some time. And I'm trying to think if you can play JM Day Tome as one of your draw spell cards. No, you can play Howling Mind, JM Day Tome, or Brain Geyser. So you'd have to pick, uh, if you had JM Day Tome, you could decline to draw from your draw phase, but you could pay four mana and then draw a card. So if you if you wanted to be able to draw cards, um, you could play JM Day Tome instead of Howling Mind. But that's my quick video for the week on uh, packages, mail, stuff. Appreciate everyone who follows this series. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you where some of these alpha cards are going into in the collection and in the decks. And talk a little bit more in depth about the 60 card alpha project. Uh, definitely appreciate everyone for watching again today. Let's put um, Island Sanctuary right there we'll make a nice little screenshot too for the channel that's pretty good look at that all right thanks everyone have a great week talk to you soon